Hello, it's Daz. I hope you all had a wonderful week. Today, I just talked to you about what I've noticed and observed with our society, and I'm going to have more of an American Western Center view of this. Years ago, I remember doing a lot of content on postmodernity and how we were in a postmodern era, and back in college, I studied sociology, so I ended up getting my bachelor's in. I remember seeing a chart of kind of like a wheel of how society has gone from mysticism to religion, days of church, controlling everything, to modernity, scientists, reason, to post-modernity, where we had a lot of skeptics, detractors, questioners, and such. I would say that we actually are out of that postmodern era and into a new era, and that is more so kind of like a cyclical will. I think a lot of things in life are cyclical, and so they return to where they began. And in many ways, even though we are in an age where we can explain things with science, we can explain all kinds of things. We are back in the mystical part of society. It sounds crazy, but I was having a conversation with my younger brother and I was telling him how, you know, in many ways, it's like we're back to the age of hunter-gatherers and cavemen where people believe in all kinds of crazy things, except obviously we have advanced technology, we have AI, and even fear people have around AI or just with society, people believe anything they want to believe and you can live in whatever reality you want to live in because there is a genre for everyone on the internet. You don't even have to leave your house with the internet. You have VR, you have augmented reality. Even I saw on Facebook, I know that they're always talking about the metaverse. They have the new sunglasses people can get to record items, but they have now these AI puzzles, which all you have to do is click on the puzzle and it immediately will make your photo, put it on the body of someone else or in this other setting. And every day with machine learning, technology is rapidly advancing, but so is many people's paranoia, so is many people's skepticism. So I don't necessarily see one unifying belief anymore amongst people. If anything, we are so highly individualistic And we had so much hyper-rationality that now we have so much irrationality. And when we look at TikTok, for instance, which they want to ban, is there's witch talk. And TikTok just picks sub-genres of things. But even on YouTube, we have areas all over, even though it's more highly censored. So I do believe that this is the age of mysticism. I don't have a fancy name for it, but we've basically completed the will and we're back to that point again where more than ever the average person believes whatever they want to believe based on their personal experiences based on what they're going through their perspective i don't think necessarily has there been a revival back to faith but i also don't think that people are highly unbelieving either they believe in something it just may not be what the next person believes in or it may have elements of the occult in it because that's the other thing when we're in an age of mysticism you have more people who do start to look more into the occult into the unknown and may try to communicate with nature and with the other side to understand the reality that they're in because there is a lack of understanding or skepticism of past institutions in paradigms that people once believed in and that's where we're at here where people are looking for a hero or looking for an answer and they're trying to find it any way they can. I recently saw the horror film Talk to Me and it made me think of this and I didn't know at the time that it was done by two well-known YouTubers who do a horror YouTube channel out of Australia and it was an indie film but it was honestly really terrifying. I don't really watch horror films anymore just because I don't like to entertain it, but I was on the plane and I was trying to stay awake, so I tuned in. And I'm not going to spoil the movie or really talk about it too deeply, but the whole premise of these teenagers playing around with the occult because they were bored. The main character had lost her mother, so she just was desperate for some kind of connection or communication because she was dealing with grief. I feel that's a lot of people today with the loneliness, isolation, because 
so many of us are always on our phones, are always on the internet. People are chronically online. Even if you're at work, you're chronically online scrolling. I know I do that. I'm guilty of it. And sometimes you're in a house of people, you're in a relationship, you're around your friends, but you're all on your phones, you're all scrolling. And so in a way it can lead to this loneliness and some people just want this deeper connection. In a way, in our search to be more connected, we feel more distance. And I believe that's another reason we're in this era of mysticism and people just looking for answers anywhere they go and that's why i always talk about words of faith and try to encourage others because i know how alienating it could be at times even on the internet some of us use it to communicate with one another and keep those bonds but that's my observation as of now with where we're at with society i like to know your thoughts feel free to comment i'll talk to you in the future take care god bless until next time